You wrote another work, which is uh, a very interesting piece. That's this uh, Masada. This is an oratorio, right? Yeah. Uh, and the text, you say it's adapted by yourself. It's yes. loosely based on uh, Isaac uh, Lambden's poem. It's an epic poem, right. Masada. Uh, not a great deal of it. Uh, sections taken from the regular liter liturgy. And um, some from Josephus, because that's really the only historical. Right. And although it's suspect. A lot of what Josephus oh, oh, yes, is suspect is. because he had a political agenda of his own. And, uh, of course. Listen, I don't deal in history, basically. I deal in art. Right. It started out as a piece for Richard Tucker. And um, it was commissioned by the National Symphony and Tal Gerardi, uh, for Tucker and for a speaker who was wonderful, the speaker, uh, because he had been a singer who uh, was a singer manque, he lost his voice, uh, George London, a great artist. And he was the uh, speaker. He was a bass. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the University of Maryland Chorus, Anton Durati, and the National Symphony. And I really didn't finish the work. As I told you before, I never do. <laughs> you didn't finish Hardly it, but it was performed. Well, it was finished after a, after a fashion. But uh, I didn't have the right ending. Uh, all of that I did when it was done many years later with the Chicago Symphony. When you say you finished it then, uh, I finished what does it, that mean? Well, I rewrote parts of it and put a, a new extension at the end, which was a, a Kaddish Hashem, the Kaddish for, the, uh, for suicide. And um, we had a young guy who was a converted Jew, but he looked like a Swede, <laughs> Gary Bachland. Excellent, I thought. Um, and the speaker was Yael Dayan, who was um, historically a good choice. So this piece was, uh, was performed in Chicago at Orchestra Hall? Yeah. Conducted by? Margaret Hillis. What year was that in the Chicago performance? 87, I think. So obviously your, your, your uh, style of writing in, in Masada is, we know it's not serialized, but it's a little abrasive still for me. For you? Look, I can do anything when it comes to music. You tell me to write a piece in, in 12 tone, I'll do it. And it'll sound good. It, that doesn't matter. It, do, it doesn't please me. That's all. It doesn't give me any right. pleasure. And what's it all about anyway? It has to give me pleasure or I'm not going to do anything. Masada uh, story. How, was, how did you choose that? Uh, were you asked to write something on the no, 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 no. But how did you come to that? At that time, there was an exhibition at the uh, Jewish um, Museum in New York. And it was Yigal Yadim's yes. excavation of Masada, which just had become public. And I went there and saw it and um, began to think of it in dramatic terms. Because, I mean, there was something there of a story, true or false, whatever it was, it was one of the more interesting stories. You were inspired to choose this subject by the... Uh... Yes, and then I did some research, basically, and uh, found that the, the Lambden poem, the, uh, I read whatever little there is. Well, there is actually a very good speech by Josephus mm -hmm. that he wrote for... Um, is the speech incorporated yes, in here? Yes, it is. It's, it's, it's a very dramatic thing. Oh, it yeah. certainly is. Yeah. I mean, that was the, that probably one. more than Lambden, that was the linchpin of, of mm -hmm. the thing, because there was my big tenor moment. <laughs> what year uh, with the commission, the original commission? Um, I think it was 73. The commission then was just for a piece from the Washington? Yeah. It was not Eight. just for a piece. It was a, for a piece for Richard Tucker. You could yeah. choose whatever you wanted to choose. Oh, yeah. But what other uh, subject would be as appropriate for Tucker as this? I knew it would appeal to him, and um, it did. <laughs>